Bonjour mes amis, my name is Freya and this is going to be a brief tutorial on how to use the genetics kit for Creatures 3 and Docking Station. These methods will also work for the Creatures 1 and Creatures 2 genetics kits, just I wanted to demonstrate it in the engine that works best on my computer. I'm not done with Belinda.sfc, I'm just taking a quick break from it while I work out some bugs. You can find a download and license key for the genetics kit on Infu's archive. I'm going to show you how to work with appearance genes because I find that they're the easiest. When you open up your genetics kit, you'll be faced with a big load genome button right in the center. Hit that, and it will take you to your genetics folder with all the different genome files that you have. For simplicity's sake, I'll be picking the Bruin Norns. Wait for it to load, go to the gene editor, and here's where you'll spend most of your time. If you click on the type heading here, it will sort the genes by type, and then you can scroll until you find the appearance genes. They're here labeled creature appearance, if you open one, you'll find that it has body area, part ID, and species. Body area does exactly what it sounds like it'll do. You're setting the body part for that specific part of the creature. Species of body part donor has nothing to do with the actual species of the creature you're making. The sprite files are just categorized that way. And the part ID you're going to want to look up unless you want to mess around. I personally keep a spreadsheet of the breed slots, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Now let's say I want this Norn using my Bruin base to have a Bruin head, but I'd like it to have a Harlequin body and Grendel arms, legs, and tail. So what I can do here is I'm keeping the head as is. The body I want to be Harlequin, which as you can see here is Norn O. For arms, legs, and tail, I'm gonna go with the jungle Grendels, so that will be Grendel A for all of them. Then you go to the export tab and you can pick the sex of the creature. Uh, you can write in this blank and if you write something other than male or female, you can produce a non-binary creature, but you will need the non-binary patch for it to actually not break your game. I'm just gonna make a female Norn for simplicity's sake. You can even choose the egg graphic, which is not necessary, but it's fun. Click the lay egg button to start. You'll get this message, hit OK, and when you go back to your game, you will have the egg right there. Let's see what it looks like. Get rid of all this nature. And there she is! Isn't she lovely? I will call her Figus. Alright, that's gonna do it for this video, so thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!